Welcome back, you guys. Okay, so when we left off, I realized something happened. Something was wrong. I can't move. Ah, there it is. Okay, something was wrong. Kyoko realized something was wrong. I'm sorry, I had a blanket on my head. I'm not feeling good today, but I'm up recording for you guys, okay? Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... Oh, I turned on auto. Sorry. I'm using the... Uh, I was going to say, it went by so fast. Oh, sorry. I have itchy eye. And I hope you guys remember to do something positive today. Compliment a person. Make breakfast for your mom. I don't know. Just do something positive today. All good vibes. I was careless. I was too distracted by alter ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive? Oh, the money? You got, you can't even use Ten it. Ten million dollars! But you can't use it. I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's 10 million bucks. Ten million smackaroos! I think I can't use it, Monokuma, so... I it's mean... like totally wow -y, wow wow am I right? No, it's not. I'm stuck in a school. Where am I going to spend it at? In the Monokuma store? No, thank you. Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but it didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hate it that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Byakuya warned us. He kind of moved up a little bit on the chart now, but he did warn us. Everything can happen. Anything, sorry, not everything. Anything can happen here. You can't consider it strange, not really. I'm gonna sneeze. I hate when I start recording. It's like a waste time to start recording. Or it's like yesterday I was playing the game it seemed like then, too, I was like, sneezy. Hey. We need to go and look for people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay. Oh, God. <coughs> I gotta clear my throat. Okay. Let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakurai. You go check the dorms. Make sure you check all the rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. But what if there's a killer on the loose? Someone's out here killing people. <sighs> Y'all think because I'm cold, not because I'm bored. Okay, I guess I'll check the first, uh, the third floor. Sorry. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call. For help right away. But I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. My nose is burning and itchy. It sucks to be and sick. Keep vitamin C, you guys. I'm telling you, vitamin C. I really hope nothing's happened. So do I. Well then. Oh, um, she's gonna ruin my voice. Okay, let's go. Inside you was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around on the first floor. So what would be the main place that something might happen that people wouldn't assume would be there? Wrong button. Oh yeah, no, right button. No, tab, I think it is. Yeah. So we have the rec, is that the rec room? Whatever, the room where we went and watched the video, it's not the rec room. Uh, the nurse room. What are the three buildings? I think they're gym. So I guess we can go and check those places. Because it'd be weird if they were like in a classroom, I guess. Like it, would, it would be weird if they were in the classroom. It does not 
look like anyone is here, so gonna back out. And that's just a store. No one's gonna be in there. Uh forgot what this was. A building with I really don't know what the, Oh, is this the the entrance? Yeah. No one's in here either. <sighs> okay, so I guess we <laughs> Oh my god. <gasps> Hina just scared the crap out of me. <clears throat> Someone, come here! What? That was Hina. She's a put oh no, please don't tell me we found a dead body already. I don't want no one to die because there's so many people missing. It's Hafumi Taka. Um Celeste is missing. Byakya and Toku, but I highly doubt something's gonna happen to them because I mean Byakya's being followed by a serial killer, so I'm sure she wouldn't hesitate on she would not hesitate to kill for him. Um and then we just split up. Oh my god, something could have happened to any one of us. She's she's supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. I'm sorry, guys. I really feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Please, M Makoto. You know what's wrong? It's awful. The rec room door was open. I'm oh, sorry, wrong person. <clears throat> and I looked inside and I saw I saw what did you see I better get the others right I I'm gonna go get them you go on ahead Makoto yeah you're just gonna let's go in the room by ourselves I'm sorry you guys I'm losing my voice so forgive me <clears throat> Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What did she see in there? By this point, I was used to checking without thinking, so without thinking, I leaped into the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got to the rec room was... Ah! Celeste, Jesus Christ, what happened to you? You're all dirty and beat up. Oh my God, look at her. I always forget which button it is. Is it? It's not F. It's not G. It's not H. It's Q. It's Q. It's always Q. I don't know why. Um, someone really beat her up. Good. It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here, but whatever that is. What is this? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something pretty strange design there's uh, there's something written on the head justice hammer one uh, that's just the hammer <coughs> oh my god give me a second you guys i'm gonna go get some water and maybe hopefully it helps my throat better you guys uh, I guess I just need a little water I don't know my throat is just killing me today that is the hammer he attacked me with I barely managed to avoid the blow but I stumbled and fell I now cursed my lack of daily exercise so you were attacked with this just as hammer one Makoto, oh uh, Makoto, sorry. Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. I mean, we can see that you got attacked, honey, but by who? Attacked by who? 
I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. I think I'm my, my French accent is rushing over into Russian, like, like really fast. Strange man. Uh, a suspicious person who acts a little. Uh, uh, a suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Makoto Celeste. Who was it? Oh, it's- Okay! I found Sakura! What? Celeste. Oh my god. <laughs> Sakura. As soon as I said Celeste in Sakura's voice, it hurt my throat. What on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Mm -hmm. A strange man. Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Uh, well, I woke up this morning a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not over yet. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understood now that that was a big mistake. Anyways... Sorry, I feel like I had to sneeze. That is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. Okay, what does he look like, Celeste? How tall is he? How short is he? Was it someone you've seen before? Maybe you just don't remember? We need details. Sorry, I was taking a sip of water. It was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him going to the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the floor and the door, sorry. Which is when I he noticed me and <clears throat> And that's when you were attacked. <clears throat> it happened around 7 a.m. Why do you know the time so well, Celeste? Like, that's one thing that's sticking out to me is that she knows the exact time it all happened. It was just around 7 a.m. my 703, 702. No, you, you now you're freaking me out a little bit. Just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after seven o'clock, huh. then that is just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. Uh. The attack caused me to lose consciousness. The attack caused you to lose consciousness. For an hour? For an I'm sorry, I'm analyzing everything because it, something's not right. Which would mean I was unconscious for an hour. But... Well, I'm just glad that you weren't hurt too badly. <sighs> that is because I begged and groveled for my life. Wait a minute. You just said you... Okay, so her story was she peeked through the door and then he attacked her. And she lost conscious. Where in between all of that did you beg for your life? Did you start begging for your life before you peeked at the door? Mm -hmm. You did? As for me... I told him I would do anything to if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. So you were willing to throw away all your pride? Indeed. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyways, this important thing now is that we go and search for the suspicious individual. <sighs> Something's not sitting right with my stomach, you guys. I don't know what it is. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. <laughs> Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? <laughs> when I took... <laughs> oh, sorry. Took... When I looked in the rec room, I saw a suspicious man was up not alone. He had with him a Fumi. So you peeked in, he had a Fumi with him. And then he opened the door, attacked you, and you lost conscience. Still don't know where in between that you were begging for your life. A Fumi? Okay. After he attacked me, I he dragged him away, and Hofumi watched. 
Now, I, I want to believe Celeste. I really do. But I don't think Hofumi is the type of person. Like, he... He might, he like seemed like the type of person that might get the courage, like right in the, sorry, sorry guys, I was looking at my phone, right in the, um, like the last moment, but I don't think he's a type of person that just leaves Celeste to get beat up, and it's two against one, so, what, you mean, Hufumi was kidnapped? Um, shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm good. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to sneeze. Did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Uh. Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us? Indeed. This is Hafumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. She does have the camera. You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Ah, <sighs> something's not sitting right with me. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Huh? Seriously, let's see it. Okay. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With a strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Something's not right. Look at this. Oh, no, no. 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 Y'all want me to believe this, right? No. Spike, this is what you want me to believe? No. Huh? What? Well. <laughs> You were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Huh? Is that a promo costume? Okay. As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? I'm not understand. When did you take the picture? Her, her little thing isn't adding up. And I'm like, I'm worried now. Like, I'm really worried that it's, really, it's not adding up. Celeste. Make it make sense. So this weird robot got dragged Hafumi away? Dragged Hafumi away. Okay. He must be strong. And I took this right after being attacked. Hmm. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why we don't, we have to, we, which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there's so much I don't understand, but... Hmm. The point is, someone dressed like a, like that drugged Hufumi away. Dragged, sorry. And it happened over an hour ago. Just a second! This is bad. We need to hurry. Celeste, do you know where the mysterious men went? Let's see. When they left the rec room, they had it left. I see. Celeste, you're seeming very suspicious. I'm just saying, if that's true, they were heading towards the stairs leading down the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Hmm. Don't make me have to meet you again, uh, Xbox. The second floor. That's where Kyoko was, was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I didn't have time to look for her. This is bad. If the strange man just headed to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. Oh, that's right. She's Miss Independent. I need some water, you guys. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we were all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Sorry, I need some water, guys. Hey, you two. What? Oh, God. <laughs> Look, you moved up on my my chart because something you said might have came true. But don't say nothing to get you put back down. What's going on? What's all the fuss? What? 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 
Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, we have, we have either of you seen, have either of you seen Hafumi or Kyoko? You gotta be kidding! Nope, no, nope. sure have it. <laughs> are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. Uh -huh. We came together. Stop talking. No, you just are stalking me. <laughs> Anyways, can you guys tell us? <laughs> Sorry, Kyoko's so adorable. Can you guys tell us? I mean, help us look for them. I said tell us. I had to tell us twice too. Can you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? <sighs> There's no time now. We'll explain it later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. Hafumi, Kyoko, if you can hear me, say something. Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs could carry us. Oh my god, this is chaos. This is madness. I mean, we really don't know what's going on at all. And it's kind of creepy. I mean, some of you probably already know this is a very old game, but I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> and everything is creepy because we're still missing people. Hero's missing. Taka's missing, Kyoko's missing, we Fumi's missing, and I think that's about it. I don't think I'm missing anybody. When we open the door to the library, oh no, okay. Oh God, Fumi, what happened, honey? Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. We found Fumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Um, I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's super bad, though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? Mm -hmm. That guy hit me. That guy? Mm -hmm. Robo Justice. Uh, that's what I decided to call him just now. Robo Justice. Ah. <sighs> <clears throat> What did you say? What are you talking about? And there's another hammer on the floor. Which one is this? It's a hammer just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one is... <gasps> Excuse me, I had to burp. Just this hammer too? And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first. <laughs> He attacked me with a hammer. He bonked me right on my head with it. Well... A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not okay. Look at all the, this blood. We get it, Hafumi. You're bleeding, okay? We can see it. Hey! Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? No. Would you just carry protein on deck? Sakura, you're so adorable. <laughs> I have never heard of such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <sighs> Doesn't look like anything else is out of the ordinary. So Toku's way over there. <laughs> Biakia, yeah, I'm sorry, Biaki. You just you just getting stalked like crazy. Mm -hmm. That guy with Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you are referring to is this is... Ooh, bless me. You are referring to is this... Is it not? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> Bianca said what I was thinking. I just didn't say it. This is one... This is the... Oh my god. This is the one that attacked Celeste and Afumi. Isn't that right, Hafumi? <laughs> yeah. This is unforgivable! <laughs> Death him. I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. 
It can't be. Robo justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. Ah! Oh my God, go away. Oh, it's him. <laughs> A robo justice, huh? Now things are getting really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does he have? Can he fly? Can it, com <laughs> oh my God. Can it combine? Yeah. <laughs> Go away. What? Cause when I heard something behind me. Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do is get Hafumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, we need to be treated. He needs to be treated as soon as possible. You're awfully worried about Hafumi. I don't think it's her, but she's acting really weird, you guys. You guys cannot tell me she's not acting weird, and her story is not adding up. Yeah! You're right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, thanks, everyone. We moved. <laughs> We moved to Fumi to the nurse's office on the second floor so we could take care of his injuries. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely came in here. There wasn't much in here. How you feeling, Hafumi? You want me to make uh, take a look at you? Um. Oh yeah, we don't have a nurse, of course, because we got Monokuma who forgot to put a nurse in the freaking school. Yeah, I'm okay. I just, I think it stopped bleeding. Okay, so who treated you? Did you just automatically stop bleeding? I'm so confused, you guys. I'm questioning everybody. I'm still kind of dizzy though. So then... Perhaps you should rest here for a while. I suppose. Yeah, good idea. Well then. The rest of us should get back to looking for the mysterious assailant. Yes, indeed. Indeed, before another victim appears. The justice hammers seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So in other words... If there is a... Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it's even bigger than the first two. Oh! I'm trying to think of a place that has hammers. The only place I can think of is the inventory room, the pl place where all the stuff is. Like, they might have found some hammers in there or something. And the art room has hammers, but they're not colored. They're, like, light brown. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm trying to remember, but I don't think... Like, I don't understand where they would get some hammers from at all. If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Hafumi. Um. Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego instead of, in head of everyone else, sorry. I went to the third floor and that's when a strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. You must be... <laughs> You must be what I was witnessing around 7 this morning. You tuned in. You kind of chimed in like really fast. One second, you guys. I'm sorry. There you go. <clears throat> you chimed in really fast, Hafumi. I mean, Celeste. Well, after that, he dragged me to the library and whack. Down came the hammer. That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words, <sighs> we could have still been in the dining hall. Yeah, we weren't there till 8. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. Meaning Hiro. Sorry, you guys. <clears throat> Hiro, Taka, and Celeste, and... Byakuya and Toku were still all missing. So we all have alibis. <laughs> I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Yes! His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night. What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? A cause I was peeking. <laughs> Anyways... So that means that Byakuya and Toku were together at the time, which means they have alibis. So Byakuya and Toku was in the library. We were all in the dining hall, and the only people that was missing would be Celeste, Hafumi, Taka, and Hiro. 
honestly that guy's pretty tall hero stands out a little bit <clears throat> I don't know then the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Afumi were attacked are the only two we haven't seen yet hero and Taka which is true and I don't think Taka's taller than hero that's it, right? Very strange. By the way, what happened to Toku? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh, yeah. She was supposed to be checking out second floor, but... I didn't have... I didn't see her up there at all. <sighs> because she had disappeared, too. Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? <sighs> Here he comes with his bullcrap. <clears throat> what a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I expected. Hold on. Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Fumi were attacked, so... Hmm. I mean, get your facts straight, Byakuya. I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words... I'm referring to what we were talking about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. I don't think it's her. I don't think it's her. I think it's you. I, I, honestly. I think it's the least person we would expect. I mean. Oh, but that would be Sakura. Because that's the last person I would think that would. No. No. No, it's not Sakura. It's Celeste. It's him. It's it, Even if it did come out to be like Sakura or Hina or, or me, Makoto. I mean. I would still blame Byakuya and them. It, they had some doing in it. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not that's not possible. What? Isn't it? This woman seems almost eager to handle dead bodies. Hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey! Save this discussion for later. Right now we need to focus on finding a suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only gonna be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about the mysterious man first. Um, don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. And now she's concerned about him. No, 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 no. Something's not sitting right. But we're going to figure it out later on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. <sighs> this is getting very interesting. I think I'm going to try to go. Well up. then. Okay, let's go. And see if maybe they'll... T hmm. So everyone was running around. Why are they wearing a weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for a reason. I'm a deviant. Oh my god. What to do? What so, to do? <laughs> what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Huh. Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. Oh no, Celeste. What? What's wrong? <laughs> I saw a shadow. She's so shaken up too. That's that's not like Celeste. Something moved around the top of the stairs. We're stopping it right there. We are stopping it. We're not going searching anymore. We're going to stop it right there before anything crazy happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, spread love. Do something nice today. Stay positive no matter what. I love each and every one of you guys. I will see you in the next video. And if you enjoyed yourself, hit the like button. Subscribe. Join the family so we can spread love and positivity together. Bye.